Hey guys, Troy from the do-it-yourself world electronics and we have the next step in putting together a Benini motor putting on the magnets. Now I have a massive block here I went and bought clean good magnets these were all dollar store magnets and I noticed that there's two different kinds here and chips on some of them stuff they were some of these were previously used from uh, other previous projects. Some were brand new in a, from the dollar store, but there's hairline cracks and fractures in the ceramic. And I bought all new magnets the other day just for this project so that I have all the same, basically um, pretty much all the same magnetic strength, same manufacturer and everything. Uh, I've got them all with the north facing out. So the whole block I now know is that way is north. If I try to turn this around, they're going to fight each other. So I can put these together. Let me show you in a minute here so that I know which way is north. They resist and they stick and all north facing out alright so then I know this way is north on all the magnets okay so I'm gonna take some of these out here shove one off at a time these are all taped with protective cover and there's a very nice clean magnet okay now again make sure I got the north right north facing out so, now, I've, let me get my uh, glue gun and everything set up, and we'll be back in a minute. Start putting on some magnets on this thing. Now, before I proceed, I want to explain something. Let's turn this sideways. The bike has spokes, alright? And if you find a common point, a starting point, there's a sticker right here. And I count that as one. Skip one, two skip one, three, skip one, four, skip five, skip six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, skip back to the original. Sixteen magnets will fit on this with every other spoke and that's exactly what you really want to do. So I'm going to start with the spoke that has the sticker on it as my beginning position and I'm going to sort of jam this against the wall gently so it cannot move. Um, my marker died while I was doing the last video, so make sure my north is up. Okay. And stick this on here. Now what I'm going to do, I want to line it up perfectly straight side to side and over the spoke. Just because I want it to be as close as possible, every one of the magnets as close as possible to dead center. And then get my super glue and I'm going to put a drop on there on the two corners and then once that's set I'm gonna use the uh, hot glue gun as well okay hopefully that'll set up I'm gonna give that a minute and then I'll move on to the next going every other spoke as we go along the wheel until we get all 16 magnets on. And then I'm going to go along once that's set up if I think that I need it, although it looks like the glue wicked itself in there. I'm going to check with a light. Hopefully the glue wicked itself in. And if it didn't, I'm going to go on from the other side and put some super glue in. It looks like it wicked in, which is what I wanted. But if not, I'm going to hit it on the other side once that's set up. I'll, uh, I'll spin this wheel around to the magnets on the bottom, and then I can better hit along those edges. But this was the easiest way for me to get that started. And uh, I'm going to let that sit. I don't know how long they say it takes. Oh, it's already on there. All right, good. So I can start with the next magnet. Peel off my protective shield. Uh, we have a really awesome place called M33 Supply um, where I can get stuff like this 
these are the higher, better quality magnets. All right, so I got pressure on that wheel so it doesn't turn on me. And set, skip a spoke and go to the next magnet. All right, making sure your north is out. And you can always check that again later with the north magnet. Really want to get that on there as straight as possible because I want it to look good and I want it to be accurate. I want it to be uh, functioning equally as each magnet passes a coil. I want the same power and effect. Now that's waking in, I think. It's awkward to do it at an angle like this. Okay, oops, I got too much. All right, we'll let that set. A little dab of paper towel here. A little bit of extra glue came off, and I just don't want to throw off the weight any. Although I might have to readjust and counter. Whoa, that sticks. Oh, wow, that's good stuff. Stuck right to my finger. All right, I'm going to go put on a couple more magnets, and we'll be back. Okay guys, I got a few magnets on and it was getting awkward, so I am using a screwdriver to hold the spokes against the frame and stop the wheel from spinning. So I can, let me put the camera back on a tripod and I'll do another magnet. Now I can get it up at the top position without it sliding and spinning on me. See, now I can adjust that for top position to get another magnet on there. And they're repelling each other a little. Even these weaker ceramic magnets at the distance they're on, you can feel them trying to fight each other a little. So, definitely, there is some strength to them, a little bit. Now again, you wanna use ceramic magnets, guys, on this project for your first Bedini motor build you definitely want to use ceramic magnets. You don't want to use the strong ones, not Neos. Weak ceramic magnets, because the only purpose of the magnet is to do us a tiny voltage to turn on a transistor and then to repel the wheel, push the wheel around. It's very simple. There's no power involved in this wheel. Just rotating that wheel is all they got to do. Okay guys, the last magnet. I shouldn't need the screwdriver now. It should center itself. Oh, there's some resistance. You can see it trying to fight each other. You can see the magnets trying to push each other around there a little bit. I'm trying to center it on. Make it look straight. The last one. Okay. Now, we'll let the glue set a few minutes to clean up our work area here and uh, heat up the glue gun because I like to use hot glue as well. That's not necessary, but it's just me. So we'll be back in a little bit here. Hey guys, I am putting the hot glue on my magnets. This is a, just an extra for me. I do this myself just because I like the extra security of the glue on there. So I just run a bead of hot glue along the edge of the magnets on both sides. And then we'll get onto the taping phase. So like I said, this part is optional. You don't have to do this at all. I just prefer it. The magnets will be under a lot of stress when this wheel is rotate, rotating. They will be drawn and attracted to the coil and they will want to be pulled off of the wheel and go touch that coil. They're in love with that coil and they want to be close to it. So I just do this, like I said, 
an extra step. You can do it, and you don't have to. It's totally up to you. And, while you're doing it, a couple dabs of hot glue could be all you need to finish balancing that wheel out once you get those magnets in place, because the uh, the magnets themselves might not be very well balanced. So, it's just an extra convenience, an extra step that I do. Got one side done, and then I'll go through and do the other. And uh, that's it. That's my little thing. So, I'm going to finish this up, and then we'll be back in a minute. And we'll tape these on. Now I've put on hot glue until when I give it a spin it just stops randomly somewhere. It was trying to settle at the heaviest point. It's barely moving. So give it a little gentle push. It doesn't try to settle now anywhere at any specific point. Although now it's moving backwards on me a lot. That's odd. Anyway, I'm using the hot glue to, to counterbalance. No, it's definitely not where it was. The, uh, the weight of the magnets that I put on because they're not all perfectly the same weight. When I'm done, I will get to the next phase of putting tape on. Looks like we're just about there. It's not really trying to fight me anymore. Oh, maybe just a tiny, tiny little bit still. Right here, I had to put a lot of glue. Here and here, in these two. Maybe just another shot. It's almost there. Alright guys, we'll be back when I have it balanced. Now the next step, guys, is to use this type of fiber reinforced packing tape to secure the magnets in place. Now this is going to be tricky because I don't want to break the magnets off while I work and I want to secure them firmly onto the frame wrapping this tape relatively tight as I go. So let me start on one magnet and get it really nice on there and get that on there good. That's part of the reason I like to use the hot glue. Now I'm going to pull down and tight as I go over the next magnet and then secure that on well. And you want to get it very tight as you go. You want to put that tape on tight in between. Whoops, that didn't work. And then when you get on a magnet, secure it on. You want it sticking on well because the tape is going to help. Your glue is probably going to come loose at some point in time. And the tape is going to keep those magnets in place. It's just the way it is. There's going to be a lot of forces on these magnets pulling them away from the wheel. And most likely you're going to have magnets clattering with time. No problem once that tape is in place, it's going to be fine. The speeds of the bicycle wheel are not that fast. Now if you get into the little wheels on the other hand, you've got some serious speeds on your hands. And oh wow. I think it goes up to like 10, 20,000 RPM. Some of those little motors, they get scary fast. So I hope you can see what I'm doing well on the camera. And then once I get past the first magnet again, I'm going to do another round. Now I'm back to the first magnet, okay? Now I'm just going to continue on, and then I'm going to go around and press this on. First I'm going to press it on all the way around, and then I'm going to continue on another rotation, okay? Okay, there it is, guys. The magnet's on the wheel. One more step of the Bedini motor build done. I'm just going in and securing the tape on well. I put two, two rounds all the way around. I went two rotations with the tape. Trying to put extreme tension on that tape to hold those magnets against the wheel as well as possible. As 
So I've got the two glues and the tape. Now the tape is definitely something you don't want to skip. This is definitely a part of the process that you will do. You must do the tape to keep the magnets from coming off. That's going to keep them in place. Okay? So there you have it, guys. The next phase in the Bedini motor is done. Looks like a big old Ferris wheel now, eh? Look at that. Looking cool. I'm excited, guys. I don't know about you, but I'm really excited. So, now that the frame is done and the wheel is done, the next step is winding the coil and putting together the electronics. And very soon, guys, we will be restoring lead acid batteries with our own homemade Bedini motor. Thank you for watching. Please do like, subscribe, and share. And tell your friends, guys. Troy from the Do It Yourself World Electronics. See you next time. Next step in the Bedini Motor Build.